Data is generated in real time from different sources like websites, mobiles, IoT devices, or information systems. Capturing that data is a priority for many businesses, but often it is not in the correct format for analysis or storage, and that's where a data flow comes in. A data flow is a data processing service that consists of three simple steps. You read the data, you transform it, and then you store it. As a data flow operates in the cloud, you can schedule refresh them to get the data streams flowing continuously. Where are data flows used? I'm going to give you some examples. You have fraud detection by analyzing transaction patterns in real time, monitoring of vital health signals in hospitals, inventory management in retail to update product availability in real time, moving data from legacy systems to more modern ones, or enrich data from multiple sources. I am going to give you an example of that using the Microsoft data flows. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get sales data from Northwind O data feed. We're going to get currency rates from the Swedish National Bank REST API. We are going to put them together. And once we have them together, we're going to save them to Power BI Lakehouse. Let me show you how it's done in real life. I'm in a workspace called Fabric on Power BI platform, and I'm going to pick a new item. I'm going to search by data flow. And there are two, Gen 1 and Gen 2. I'm going to pick Gen 1. The difference between them, I will take that on a separate video. I'm going to now define a new table. And now you can see how many sources there are available. There are actually quite a few. I am going to search by OData because that's the data source that we're going to pick. And then paste the OData feed link. I don't need to do anything with connection credentials because this is an anonymous source. So I can just click next. Now I'm going to search by sales and sales totals by amounts. This will import the table with sales. I'm going to change now the name to sales. And now I'm going to paste a function that gets currency data from the Swedish National Bank. I need to have a currency series on the sales table, so let's go there. First, I'm going to change the date time to date for ship date. And then I'm going to go add column, custom column, and I'm going to call this currency series, which is going to be sec euro PMI, which is what the API needs. OK. I'm also going to change the data type to text. OK. Then I'm going to invoke the custom function. I'm going to use values found in the column currency series. Click OK. And then I need to configure the connection to connect to it. This is also an anonymous source. I don't need to do anything. And for data privacy, I'm going to set these as organizational for both sources. Now I'm going to open it to get the currency rates. It's stored on the Ultimo column. And I'm going to change the column name to sec to euro. Now that I have that, I am going to change sales amount to sales sec to indicate that this amount is on Swedish grounds. And then I'm going to save and close, which means that it will save this new table to Power BI platform. I'm going to give it a name, which is sales with currency save. And then I'm going to set a refresh schedule. So we will do these every day, daily at 1 a.m. First, check the data source credentials. I need to skip test connection for the API call. And then for the refresh, I'm going to pick a time zone, turn it on, and then daily at 1 a.m. And then if something is wrong, it should contact me. Apply. And now we go back to the workspace and check the refresh date is set. And also I'm going to refresh it now so I get fresh data.